It's time for the Daily Stand-Up Podcast presented by Agile Dad with your host, Lee Henson. Without any further ado, let's get started. In a recent workshop, I was asked, what's the best day to end or begin a sprint on? And I thought that was a really good question. And at first, I thought they were asking, you know, should we begin on the first of the month or the end of the month? I didn't know if they were doing four-week sprints or one-week sprints. But then I quickly realized they meant what day of the week. And, oh, well, that, that's easy. Uh, you should always try to do mid-week to mid-week. I know that sounds weird, but let me explain why. Um, there's a few reasons why. But I think first and foremost, we need to understand that there's this whole fatigue Friday thing. And let me explain what that means. By the end of the work week, the last thing people want to do is spend time in meetings. And nobody's ramped up to spend meetings, uh, you know, spend time in meetings on a Monday. So I think if we run our sprints from midweek to midweek, from Wednesday to Tuesday or Tuesday to, you know, or Thursday to Wednesday, however we're going to do it, we just want to make sure that we operate our sprints, whether they're one week sprints or two week sprints, and have them not end on a Saturday, Sunday, obviously, because that's the weekend, or on a Monday or Friday. Because I think they have that thing called the Friday fatigue effect, and I call it the Monday Monday effect. So you have both of those. Not to mention that a lot of time, if there are any public holidays or or things that happen uh, where we have scheduled time off, those usually either take place on a Friday or Monday, or they're observed on a Friday or Monday. So that, we, of course, with the exception of Thanksgiving in the United States, so that way we can make sure that we. Uh, we have the correct day off. And uh, that means that if we have meetings scheduled for that day, instead of trying to reschedule everything or shorten a length in a sprint, if you just end things midweek, you're going to be a lot better off. In addition to the public holidays, a lot of times people will say, hey, you know, I, I also want to uh, extend that weekend and take a long vacation weekend or a long holiday weekend. And if they extend, guess which two days they usually extend to? Friday or Monday. Ding, ding. You got it. So for this one, I wanted to keep it something short, sweet, and simple. I think that, uh, one more bonus, I'll throw one more bonus right out there. I think that if you're trying to accommodate either for meeting room space or for keeping a heartbeat cadence or for people in different time zones, any of those three things, especially if they're around the world, um, having it midweek start and end is going to lend itself to make it easier for you to plan easier for you to book rooms, easier for you to figure things out. And even if you're not in person, it makes it easier for everybody to kind of get on board with, hey, I know when I got to be there and to make things happen. And uh, I guess this could be the beginning of a topic that we're going to start talking about regularly. One of the things that I hope to bring in multiple episodes is some facilitation foundation tips to help you better facilitate your scrum meetings and your agile meetings and help you get everybody on the same page. And I guess this can be the official kickoff. So recap real quick. If you're having meetings to start and end your sprint, even demonstrations, demos, or whatnot, nobody likes to go to a demo on a Friday afternoon or on a Monday, you know, before lunch. People just don't like having those types of meetings. So if we can find ways to improve morale, to increase attendance, and to get everyone on the same page, I think the starter is going to be, let's do our sprints from midweek to midweek. That's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this short but sweet episode. If you have a topic you want us to discuss, make sure you reach out to us. Learn more at AgileDad.com, where we would love to hear from you. And as always, we encourage you to stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Until next time, do take care.